Kiermaier leads things off now in the top half of the second. Kevin Kiermaier. First offering on the way. Swung on and taken the opposite way out toward deep left center. Yelich is there, and he's got it, and it's a first pitch out to begin the second. As Drupal Cabrera will stand in, he's got that average pushing up near 300 to start the new season. Now a swing and a ground ball, but a foul ball here, 0-1. Pitch on the way. Fouled straight back. The pitch. Pitch in the dirt, swung on and missed for strike three as they'll need to throw to first here. And indeed, the throw will finish him off as they get the put out at first, and there are two away now. Nick Franklin will stand in here looking to keep the inning alive with two gone now in the top of the second. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. Throw to first will get him easily and the side is retired. Nothing happening there against Danny Heron. And he's got himself a 1-0 lead. Martin Prado will stand in. He comes off an 0-4 for 4 in last night's ball game. Now the first pitch. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. 2-0. Yeah, it, it's so easy to get caught reaching on that pitch. We've seen a few of his teammates do it already. That's a great job to recognize slider and play off. Too tight with that one. 3-0. and and there's a strike as he'll try to work his way back. It's three and one. Now the pitch. Oh, he got under the three one a bit as this is in the air out to right. Kiermeyer is there, one away. Dangerous count right there, three and one. Dangerous pitch, too. He comes with the fastball, but he's going to live to tell about it as he gets him the loft and easy fly ball. Catcher Jared Saltalamaki is in now. As the first pitch to him is in there for a cold strike one. And you know, if you're going to challenge a guy up in the zone with a fastball, why not do it on the first pitch? A lot of times he's going to be taken anyway, and you just bought yourself a strike that you can now throw anything off of. Here it comes. Ball swung on and hit high down the line in left, but it'll get back in among the crowd, so the count holds it 0-2. And, and here's a changeup in there for a called third strike, and that's the second out of the inning. Boy, and just a great call that time to turn to the changeup. That's one of those at the plate where you don't even wait for the umpire to make the call. You know you're a goner. First pitch coming. A Danny Echevarria is in with two away as he takes a ball, 1-0. That's what you have to do against a big sweeping slider hey. like that. It starts in the zone, and it's probably going to finish out of the zone, so that's a good job just to lay off. No yeah, offer on that one. Two strike. balls and a strike. Here's the 2-1 and one pitch. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Now, how important is it going to be for this guy to throw that curveball for strikes? I don't know that he necessarily needs to ever throw it for a strike. I mean, if it's around the plate and he's getting guys to go after it, it's doing its job. But if he starts to get too high or too far outside... And he will get there as he had to cover a lot of ground to make that play. And that ends the inning. Jake Odorizzi will turn right around and get us started here. 9-1-2 and two to start inning number three. Now here's the first pitch. Up and away to start the inning. It's 1-0. and oh. The 
the 1 0 pitch. And it's a called strike to even the count at 1. Ready now on 1 and 1. This is popped high in the air toward the right side of the infield. And the leadoff man is retired here to start the Tampa Bay third. Desmond Jennings will dig in here. He singled to open up the ball game. Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt, the first pitch. And here's a ball in the air now carrying a bit out toward right center. And he's going to make the play over toward his right, and there are two away now. James Loney will stand in now with two away, trying to avoid another one, two, three inning. Now, this has been total domination these past few innings. They haven't been able to mount any kind of threat whatsoever. First pitch cutter that's by him for strike one. And even with two outs, this is a team that can still put something together here especially in this part of the lineup. So you can't let your guard down. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Rays. They still trail 1-0. Dan Heron makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. A bit high there. A ball and no strikes. Now here's the pitch. First two pitches off the mark here, it's 2-0. and oh. I got to think he's going to leave the bat on his shoulder again here, even 2-0. and oh. This approach hasn't been too sharp so far to lead off the inning. And there's the first strike, 2-1. and one. Here's the 2-1 pitch. 3-1 and one now. And boy, this is exactly how you want your leadoff hitter to approach in that bat. He's showing a lot of patience and it's worked out so far. Not oh, definitely a fastball swing there, but a good time for the changeup. It's full three and two. Oh, that's a guy up there pretty clearly gearing up for the fastball there, and he didn't get it. That's a good pitch to throw on a 3-1 count to keep a guy honest. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Well, yeah, but even though that's just going to go in the books as a strikeout, it was pretty expensive in terms of pitches. And when you think pitcher on pitcher, that's what you'd like a guy to go up there and do. At least give someone a foul. Here's a swing and a ground ball and a sliding try there at third, but it skips by him a base hit. Christian Yelich will stand in. He doubled and later scored his first time. This ball's hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0-1. Pause. Now the pitch. And a swing as he pulls this one into right. But he'll barely have to move out there in right as he hauls this one in for the second out. Giancarlo Stanton will stand in now. An all-star starter for the National League as their DH last year. Good change up there to start him, but it drops a little low for ball one. And he looks at a change up in there, one and one. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Here oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's 1-2. and two. Still no fastballs in the at-bat. It's been all off speed. Uh, that's definitely by design. He's such a good fastball hitter. You don't want to give in to his strength. To two balls and two strikes now. And now this ball's lifted in the air down the right field line, but this will get back into the seats, so the count holds at 2-2. Two and two. Here comes a 2-2. Two, two. A breaking ball swung on and missed, and he's set down for the second time this afternoon. Michael Brantley will start things out here for the Rays to be followed on deck by Evan Longoria. Michael Brantley. Too high that time with the inning's first pitch. It's ball one. Here's the 1 0. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, but a foul ball, one and one. Now the one and one pitch. And here's a fastball, not close as he runs it to two and one now. And this is something we've seen a lot from him recently. He's worked his way into another good hitter's count. Yeah, it's not unrelated either. When you're going good at the plate, usually means you're being selective and you're not getting yourself out. And when that happens, you'll find yourself in these kind of counts. 
Oh, I think he thought it was ball four, but the knuckle curves in there. Well, as we've seen so far, this isn't a team that's going to wait around too long to feel a pitcher out. They're an aggressive team all the way from top to bottom. And if that first pitch is anywhere close, most of these guys are going to take a hack at it. The next 3-2. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. Here's the 3-2 pitch. And he chases one up the ladder as he hits a high fly ball out to straightaway center. He'll put it away without much trouble, and the leadoff man is retired here in the fourth. Well, I'll tell you what, this won't look like a whole lot in the box score, but anytime you can make a pitcher use up eight pitches to get you out, you've done your job as a hitter. Swing and a ball hits softly on the ground. But uh, this is foul for the first strike. And the pitch. Off one the ball, plate, one, one ball, one strike. Come on. The 1-1. One, one. On a hole now as he swings and misses at a pitch in the dirt, and it's one and two now. The 1-2. And no offer that time from Longoria. It's back to two and two now. That's a good location for that cutter with two strikes. He's either got to take that and hope it's a ball, or he's got to foul that thing off. Swing and a ball hit on the ground, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Now another two two. Swing and a liner, but this will be foul. Here he comes on two and two. And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes. And the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. So with two gone here in the fourth, let's check out our pitch speed comparison for the two starters. And both guys topping out so far in the low 90s. 93 for one guy, 91 for the other. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. And now a pitch on the way. Swung on and taken the opposite way out toward deep left center. Yelich is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Rays go in order. One, two, three. They trail this one. One to nothing. Leading off the fourth inning, center fielder. Marcelo Zuna stands in as he looks at a cold strike. Here's the pitch. Off-speed pitch, and this one runs in and nearly gets him here. Sometimes if you let that changeup go too soon, it'll take off on you. He's lucky that didn't hit him. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. The pitch. Good pitch there on one-two as this is pulled down to third. And a close play at first, but a great stretch that time as they get him by a step for out number one. Michael Morse will dig in. He popped out in foul territory his first time. In there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. Yeah, a little surprising he didn't offer at that one. That was a dangerous spot for a good fastball hitter. Awfully close with the slider there, but it's 1 and 1. Pitch on the way. And they'll come inside with this one, but the result's the same. It's to 2 and 1 now. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. Yeah, showing no fear there. He put the pitch right at the letters away, but that guy didn't want any part of it. Ah, uh, had him fooled as he swings through the curveball. Two down. Martin Prado will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. And here's a first pitch curveball that bounces on him there. It's ball one. And they won't get him to chase the curveball in the dirt that time, and it's 2-0 and now. And this is what you got to do up there, Steve. you got to wait him out. Yeah, and if you can lay off the off-speed stuff, that's when you're going to get your fastball to hit. Oh, look at that stop. And he'll flip it onto first, and with it, that ends the inning.